So here's, here's what happened to my friends and I. My buddy Jay was a church planner back in 2004 in our city, and he had this little tic-tac-toe board. Actually, let's use this one. So I'm going I'm to do this little exercise with you. And this, what I'm getting ready to do is like 100 times better than the book that my buddy and I wrote. Okay? It's, all, it's like the secret to everything that happened in our community is what we're getting ready to do right here. And we had no idea how potent it was going to be until after it happened. So I'm just going to have you guys do a little exercise. If you've done this before, if you like already read our book, then this is a pop quiz for you. But if you've never done this before, this is a test. You ready for the test? It's only going to take two minutes. I want you to take out like a piece of paper that's sitting in front of you and a pen on one of those pads and just turn it over and just draw a tic-tac-toe board. When you leave here today, it's gonna, we'll give you like a cute magnet that you should use a Sharpie on. But for now, this is a lot better. So you've got a tic-tac-toe board sitting in front of you. And you just write your house numbers in the middle of the square. That's your house. Now, I just want you to imagine, like, imagine walking outside your front door. And imagine, maybe you live in apartments or condos, whatever it is. Or maybe you live in a ranch or big rural area. Or maybe it's a single family. It doesn't matter. You, every single person in here has neighbors. Imagine you walk outside your front door, and now imagine the eight closest units to you. Okay, you got them? You got those, so you got the eight closest units to you, however they are. I know that your block probably doesn't look like a tic-tac-toe board. So it's the eight closest units. And now I just want you to take a second. Just start, write down the names. Let's just do that. We'll go simple. Let's write down just the names of the adults in each of those eight units. Write down as many names as you can. If you're like me, you're probably having a bad moment right now. You realize, I've met all these people. I just only remember a few of their names. I, I want to encourage you to use like real people's names. Don't write annoying lady. <laughs> okay? <laughs> like actual people's names go in here. Now, when I first did this, what you're getting ready to do, I could only fill in both adults' names in two of these boxes, and then I felt bad about that. And so I knew some people that were like 20 houses away, and so I just wrote their names in here too. <laughs> don't do that either. Just leave them blank. If you don't know them, just leave them blank. How many of you right now sitting in this room, you think you can, if I, am I calling you? You can, you can rattle off the names of the adults in all eight of those units. Go ahead and raise your hand. Put your hand up. One, two, it's always about the same, yep. Now, if you can do five or more of those boxes, now put your hand up, you can do five or more. Go ahead, raise your hand up. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go high, Let's say 15. So you know, some people are shy and they don't raise their hands sometimes. So 15 people. Got about 60 or more people in this room. I wanna tell you something interesting. I've, We've given out now, I think, 300,000 of these things. I've been in a lot of rooms and done this little exercise that we just did. I've never been in a room of Christians where more than half of the room can write down more than half of their neighbors' names. Here's why I think that's important. My buddy Jay likes to say, I don't know a lot about love, but I do know that in order to love someone, it's helpful to know their first name. 